My name is Jason Gordon. I'm from Alton, Illinois. I, I've been called Gordo. Everybody's called me Gordo since I, as long as I can remember. So when it came to playing out and people started wanting to know what to call me, I just stuck with Gordo. So uh, my first instrument was guitar. Um, I guess I was about nine years old, started playing guitar. Um, shortly after, a bass came into the scene and I kind of picked up on that, started banging on that a little bit. Uh, I think I was 12, my mom bought us a piano, so I started playing the piano. My dad had an old harmonica laying around, so I picked up on that, and messed around with that for a little bit, and just through the years, uh, you know, kind of acquired a feeling for a lot of these different instruments, and now I play guitar, bass, harmonica, uh, piano, little banjo, little fiddle, you know, just uh, anything I can get my hands on, pretty much. Initially, I learned uh, kind of the older stuff. I, I, I always kind of enjoyed the older music, um, kind of stuff that was before my time, uh, stuff that my uncle kind of raised me up, you know, Poncho and Lefty, Mr. Bojangles, that kind of old folky type stuff. I started playing music live um, in front of audiences when I was, um, I don't know, I was a young teenager when I really started playing in front of people. So I've been doing that for, for quite some time. As far as the looping goes, I've been doing that here for the last handful of years, maybe four or five years I've been doing the looping thing. It was years and years ago, I was just a kid, uh, I had all these instruments uh, available to me. Um, so I started uh, kind of, I'd record one, you know, say the guitar, I'd record on one little tape cassette and then I'd bounce that back onto another one and record the bass with it. So from a young age I was kind of bouncing tracks back and forth building these songs and, um, and then here maybe five years ago or so I, uh, I was introduced to this technology, this looping technology I didn't realize was there and that just kind of, you know, that gave me the idea to kind of put these songs together like this. And, start doing this looping thing. When people leave in my shows, I would like for them to leave understanding that I'm, that I'm building these songs for them one, one instrument at a time, that I'm not playing canned music, and I'm not playing over pre-recorded tracks, which is, that's really the most difficult thing for me to get across to the audience is the, is the fact that I am building these songs one instrument at a time and, um, and, and actually looping them in front of them and doing it all live so that, that I'm not doing anything pre-recorded. I think my biggest inspirations um, as far as the looping um, I really like Phil Kage. He was one of the earlier guys. I think he's just a phenomenal musician. Um, of course, Keller Williams does a lot of looping and stuff. Um, I really like him. I've never really taken a list and counted how many songs I know. Uh, I, I'm sure there's over 100 songs that I, that I know that I'd be able to perform right now. I do write my own material. I have a, a pretty good handful of stuff um, that I've written. With the show that I'm doing now, though, most of the stuff that I'm doing is cover stuff. I mean, anything from classic rock to blues to bluegrass to reggae, you know, kind of a variety of music styles. Um, I really enjoy playing the bar scene. Um, I would like to play more music-oriented venues uh, as those opportunities come to me. When I go about booking shows with different places, um, once I kind of get my foot in the door and stuff, uh, I really try to book a steady once a month thing at any given place. I don't really want to play any place more than once a month. Really, any opportunity to get in front of people and play, I'm, I'm down for, for that. For right now, I've been, you know, I'm, I'm pretty comfortable doing the local bar scenes. I go back and forth to Branson and do a lot of the, the smaller places uh, between here and there. Uh, but as far as up and coming stuff, I would really like to pursue more of uh, music oriented places.